So here we're going to solve for just one variable, and I understand that these feel a little awkward to you guys because there's nothing really to put together. There aren't. We're really not dealing with numbers anymore. We're just dealing with a bunch of letters and a couple numbers that we can't combine with anything. But that's okay. So if I'm find your identify what variable you're solving for, make sure that you see everywhere in the equation where it is. So I've got two a's. So I'm going to have to put those two a's together and then get rid of everything around the a's. So the first thing I can do is this middle term doesn't have any a's in it at all, so let's add it to the other side. So I end up with r plus 3bc equals 2a plus a over c. So we're getting there. So now, um, there are a couple ways to, that you can proceed from here, but I, I don't like the fact that I've got a fraction with a denominator. So let's just multiply everything on both sides of the equation by c. So I'm going to multiply everything by C because I want these C's to cancel in the denominator and then I won't have a denominator anymore over there. So let's start over on this side and I have to distribute this C. So I'm going to have RC plus 3BC squared on that side equals, don't forget to just keep distributing the C over here, so this is going to become 2AC plus A. Because though now that's not going to have a C anymore because the denominator canceled. Oops, I don't need that. Okay, so now we're getting close. Um, now I've got A's by themselves on one side. Um, so now what I need to do, if I have my variable listed in two places, I want to pull out a greatest common factor of the variable that I'm looking for. So can you see that A is my greatest common factor? So I'm going to take out an A and I'm left with 2c plus 1, don't forget that 1 as its placeholder, equals rc plus 3bc squared. That side didn't change at all. So now my a is almost by itself, a is just being multiplied by this, so now I can divide by 2c plus 1, and those cancel, and I divide this side by 2c plus 1, and now this is your final answer, because a is now all alone. So once your variable that you're solving for is all by itself, then that's your final answer.